This is part two of the bus ride from Holt Town to the St. Lawrence Gap. We start this video about halfway through the trip along the Black Rock Road. The bus goes through the outer parts of Bridgetown before reconnecting with the coastline. And on this half of the journey, we made a lot of stops. Apparently this was the only bus operating that day in Barbados because there were a ton of people getting on and off this particular bus. We stopped and we stopped, and we stopped some more. While we're stopping, I wanted to highlight some of the more colorful houses along this road, a theme that I mentioned in the video covering the first half of this bus ride. Once we passed the Nita Barrow roundabout, we went through a more upscale commercial portion of Bridgetown. Right before reaching Highway 7, which follows the southern coastline, we passed the Garrison Savannah Racetrack, a horse racing venue known internationally for its annual Barbados Gold Cup for thoroughbreds. I learned that less than 10 years ago, a large network of underground tunnels was discovered 12 to 17 feet below the track, dating back almost 200 years. Altogether, the tunnels are about two miles in length, and you can now take a tour through some of them. That sounds like a future video idea. Upon reaching the coastline, the view is once again dominated by hotels, rental properties, and beaches. The closer to the gap you get, the more touristy the area becomes. You start to see more restaurants along the road. Castaways, Cafe Soul, St. Lawrence Gap.
Wait, the St. Lawrence Gap? That's where I'm supposed to get off the bus. Yes, dear viewers, it's true. I missed my exit. I don't know how I could have missed it. There's literally a giant sign announcing it along the road. So I got off at the next stop and walked back to the Gap. It was worth it though, as it was a perfect sunny day to explore the famous seaside neighborhood. <laughs>